Uh, Tim, you've been with us uh, speaking at our Radstock conference the last couple of days. Tell us a little bit about what you've been challenging us over and teaching us about. We've been uh, really exploring uh, church planting and church planting movements and what are some of the characteristics of those uh, and uh, been highlighting, one of the things we've been highlighting is the way that mission is in God's hands. So we've spoken of God as the great mission strategist and that's uh, very liberating for us. We can trust him. We don't have to have a, a big grand strategy. We can trust him to use our, perhaps our small contributions as part of his big plan. Um, but also it does mean we pray. We are, prayer is actually at the forefront of mission. Uh, and how important that is. We've been looking too at the importance of uh, re reproducibility, that what we do can be easily reproduced, that people have a sense that they can do this, uh, that they can be involved in mission and in, in church planting. Um, and then finally, we've been thinking, one of the common characteristics of church planting movements is that they take place in the context of persecution. And so we've been looking at what, what is the lesson for that? And I think the lesson is that our, our lives and our, our mission, our ministries need to be shaped by the cross. They need to be cross-centered so that uh, they are done, they, they, we follow the way of the cross, that way of sacrificial service and suffering and self-denial, uh, but all in the context of the pardon and the grace that the cross speaks to us. Uh, tell us about uh, your uh, interest and uh, what it is about the Radstock vision and th that you want to support and be involved with. Oh, well, what I love about Radstock is, uh, well, I suppose a couple of things. One is the centrality of the local church, that it's not about kind of farming out mission, uh, sort of uh, outsourcing it, but actually the local church has the uh, excitement and the responsibility of being involved in mission, and Radstock uh, is great at uh, making that happen. It's been lovely to hear stories, not just of people doing mission, but of churches connecting to do mission. Uh, but also going along with that, the idea that uh, this is something that uh, ordinary Christians can be involved with. It's not for professionals. Uh, it is for, it's for the whole body of Christ. And to hear stories of, uh, of you know, what, what you might think of as ordinary Christians, yet having a big impact has been uh, very exciting. We've heard many stories uh, over the last couple of days from different uh, people from around the world. What, what stories are going to stick in your mind? Which, uh, which stories are, have, have been significant for you? Oh, uh, again, many stories. But I think that, that, that the one that comes first to mind, partly because it sort of illustrates what, something of what I was saying, was the story of uh, a girl in, uh, in northern India who, uh, was, uh, who, through the Lord Jesus Christ, was released from a demon, demon possession about two years ago. And uh, since then has, has gone around just with a heart full of the Lord Jesus, has gone around and uh, told people her story. And as a result, five churches have been planted and she is 18 years old. She's 18 years old and she's planted five churches. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Tim. Thank you.